Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to manifest your SP out of thin air. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe. On this channel, I talk about all things law of assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. Are you currently manifesting your SP? Imagine waking up every morning and realizing that the story that you've dreamed of is unfolding exactly the way that you you want. This 14 week course is the gateway to that reality. Whether you're rekindling a connection or manifesting a new partner, my proven methods and mindset shifts will guide you step by step towards your desire. This course is jam packed full of carefully laid out information that you need to learn about in chronological form. These by the way are the exact same steps that I use to manifest my own SP along with weekly videos, homework and affirmations to grab your manifestations aka your sp by the balls and knock this thing out of the ballpark so if you are ready for a change in your reality enroll in this course by clicking the first link in the description box down below and manifest the love of your life today Ever wondered if you can manifest a random person that you don't even know exists into your life and be in a relationship with them? It might sound like magic, but you can actually do this just as easily as you can manifest a person that you already know. I have done a video about this in the past, so I will be including it in the cards up above the first video and a few more after that. This is a very highly requested video that I always get questions about, so I'm more than happy to continue to share my expertise on this subject. Before this relationship, I manifested a guy out of thin air. I didn't know how he was gonna look like. I didn't even know that he existed. I just did the information that I will be sharing in this video today and Literally, I matched with him on Hinge a couple of days after that, and the rest is history. I mean, we started dating instantly after that. So how do you bring that special person into your life? Let's break it down. Step number one, know what you want. Get crystal clear about who you wanna manifest. Now, you don't need to know the exact person, but if you have an idea of the characteristics that you want, if you want them to look like someone that you know, or if you have a certain type, that will certainly help. Get out a piece of paper and and literally write down all of the characteristics that you would want in a specific person. This isn't just about their appearance. List down how would they make you feel? What would they do for you? What is their energy like? What are the experiences that you will share? Be as specific as you want, down to the very smallest detail, but at the same time, if you don't feel like being specific, you don't need to be. I mean, you don't know this person and that's totally okay. To be completely honest, I wrote down about 10 to 15 uh, dot points of characteristics that I would want in a person. Loyal, ambitious, funny, smart, broad-shouldered, blonde, blue eyes. I even wrote down that they're into manifesting and they were even into that. That is just my type. So I went ahead and wrote that down. Now I know that I talk a lot about thinking it into being and it is whatever you think it is, but in my personal experience, manifesting an SP out of thin air was really, really easy when I actually went into the feeling. Like, how would it feel to be in a relationship with someone? When you practice your affirmations or your visualizations or your self-concept, how would you feel? When you practice your affirmations or scripting or a visualization, you will naturally start feeling how it would feel like to be in a relationship with them. And it feels freaking amazing. It feels like joy. It feels like security. It feels like stability. It feels like fun. It feels like laughter. It feels like adventure. It feels like deep love. It feels like intimacy. It feels like lust. It just feels so much fun. Like it just feels like your life is a movie. Have fun with this. God damn it. So like I said, and this is the most important step. This is really what helped me manifest my SP out of thin air. I didn't know that he existed. I didn't know how he specifically looked like. I just knew his generic qualities and I tracked that to myself. 
by writing down 10 to 15 dot points of how that man looked like. After writing down a list of qualities, I highly suggest to really lock it in is to script. So I would write it like a diary entry. So dear diary, I met the most perfect guy or the most perfect girl. Try to keep it as generic as possible because we don't want to limit your mind to have met this specific person at a library or at a bar or whatever. We just want to write as though we met this person and they're amazing and then we list their qualities. So, dear diary, I met the most perfect guy. He ticks all of my boxes. We met in the most romantic, easiest way. It felt like it was right out of a movie. It felt like love at first sight. And this day is really special because I know that I'm actually gonna be spending the rest of my life with this person. And he knows that as well. So that was just off the rip. Whatever naturally comes to your mind when you are writing this diary entry is absolutely perfect. You don't need to force any feelings. Whatever you feel as you're writing it is absolutely perfect. Then I want you to meditate for 10 minutes on how it would feel like if you met this person. I'm not saying to force these feelings out, but really just imagine yourself meeting this person. How would you feel? Ask yourself, how would I feel if right now I met this person of my dreams? I don't understand the whole, how are you meant to know how you're meant to feel if you've never felt it or you've never experienced it before? To that I say, how does a gay person know that they want to be with someone of the same sex? Because they feel it in their heart. They just know. They don't have to sleep with someone of the opposite gender to know that they are wanting to be with someone of the same sex. Just like you know that you want to start a business. You've never started a business before, but that doesn't matter. Thinking like that is very childish and we're not that dumb. You're not that dumb. Give yourself more credit. Don't let these people discredit you. Give yourself a little bit of a push. You've got this. If you think that you can't visualize or imagine or feel it real or feel how it would feel like to manifest this person, yes, you can. Like you may never have imagined that you would have graduated high school or college or lifted that weight at the gym or became friends with that person or achieved some sort of achievement, but you did because you are that bitch, you are that guy. Do not discourage yourself. You can do this, it's very easy. Even if you can't see images in your mind, just ask yourself like, you know how you affirm in your mind? Just talk to yourself in your mind. Amy, how would it feel if I met the love of my life today? Oh my God, well, first of all, I would be really nervous because I mean, I don't look really great. I don't look 10 out of 10 right now because I'm just in my pajamas. But you know, <laughs> if I was to be dolled up right now and I went out and I met this guy, I feel butterflies because like, you're telling me that this Hot guy, my dream guy is literally in my vicinity right now and I'm talking to him and we're hitting it off and he is looking like he's getting a little bit obsessed. Like, I'm so excited. I would feel like, yeah, like I am that bitch. Like this guy that is on my wish list is literally giving me attention. Like, yes, thank you. Of course, duh. But at the same time, like, yes, like it feels good, okay? Let me feel good. I feel happy. I feel like a 10 out of 10. I feel super accomplished because I literally just got exactly what I wished for. And I'm super excited for the dates that we're about to go on, the attention that he's gonna give me, the fun that we're gonna have. I'm so happy like knowing more about this person and him knowing more about me. I'm excited to share memories together, experiences together. That is just what literally naturally came at the top of my head. You have your own specific ways of thinking. So do it to how you would normally think, right? That is perfect. Okay, up until this point, all of these things that I told you about to do, just do once. It is a one-time thing. It's a one and done. It's perfect if you just do it one time. But with this, I want you to robotically affirm until this happens in your life. I want you to say this thing. I am in such a happy relationship with my SP. And usually when I say my SP in an affirmation, I want you to say the person's name. But because we don't know the name of our SP, we don't even know that he exists. 
we are literally just saying SP. So I am in a happy relationship with my SP. Your subconscious mind will fill in the blanks. Don't worry. You do this every day until it happens. And you have to also ask yourself, like, is this a really big priority for me? If it is, this should be at the top of your robotic affirming list of things that you're manifesting. So if you have like two to three affirmations, make sure that, that one is at the top. And whenever you're going for a walk or showering or eating or whatever it is that you do that does not take up any mental activity in your brain like deciding something or having a conversation solving mathematical equations if your brain is not active i want you to robotically affirm i am in such a happy relationship with my sp do this as much as possible every single day persist and repeat until it happens in your 3d reality step number three clear out any blocks that you may have clear out any doubts or limiting beliefs literally what stands between you and your manifestation is your own mind and your own resistance to that manifestation if you believe it's possible it will be if you believe that it's inevitable it will be what you expect you receive you don't need to dig deep down i do not advocate that whatsoever but what i do encourage is if you find yourself having repeating thoughts whenever you are manifesting this like oh but it's really hard to find guys in my area that is a belief in your mind and we want to just identify that as a limiting belief and then disprove it for five minutes it literally takes five minutes all you have to do is label it as a limiting belief and know that it is not true and then move on that's it there is no deep dark shadow work that you need to do okay so is it ultimately true that there are no guys in my area well no when i was walking down the street there was a really cute guy that fit the bill. Oh, uh, actually, my friend is in a really great relationship with a guy right now. Actually, my dad and my mom are together. They are from the same town and they are in a fabulous marriage. Friends of friends, or maybe a celebrity used to live in your hometown and they got married in the hometown as well. You know, like, for example, Margot Robbie's husband is from Surrey, UK. If you are from Surrey, UK and you think, oh my God, there's no decent guys. Well, there is a guy that bagged Margot Robbie and she's now knocked up by him and they are in a happy, committed marriage. She seems very happy. So that is a lie from the devil that there are no good men in Surrey. And you wanna keep working with yourself until that limiting belief dissipates. And also if your mind keeps fighting with you, like, yeah, that's one in a million. You wanna stop yourself and then target that li limiting belief. I have talked about limiting beliefs and I disproved a lot of my subscribers' limiting beliefs. You can check it out here. Maybe one of your limiting beliefs is in that video. Also, I talk about limiting beliefs and how to disprove them. And I bring up a lot of examples as well. So if you wanna enroll in my Manifest Your SP course, Again, enroll through the very first link in the description box down below. Step number four, take inspired action. While manifestation works with thoughts and emotions, action is what bridges the gap between the spiritual and physical realm. Follow your intuition, whether it is sending a message, attending an event, or simply being open to possibilities. Now, I want to really make myself clear on this. Action does not mean putting in all of the work in a relationship. It doesn't mean you have to bust it wide open. I'm sorry. I mean, burst a blood vessel or, or just do anything for this manifestation. What I mean is you can literally take action by sitting on the couch or watching TV. What I mean by taking action and following your inspired action and listening to your intuition is you have set an intention that you want to manifest your SP, right? So from that point on, anything that you want to do, anytime you follow your happiness, which you can watch a video on if you want more explanation about what that is and how to follow your happiness, the card will be up here. After setting that intention, anything past that point is going to lead you to your manifestation. So even if you do feel like sitting on the 
couch and going on your FYP, that perfect guy may be on your FYP. And then you have the intuition to like that person's video or you see a video that tells you how to style your hair or do your makeup or wear a certain outfit to stand out. Not that you need any of those things, but it's your subconscious mind leading you through the path of least resistance to help you get this SP. Because at the end of the day, we don't need anything outside of us, but we're working with our limitations. And so if we think maybe if I put on a little bit of makeup, maybe if I like someone's video, whatever it is, that is going to pull this person. Maybe I need to join Hinge or Tinder or Raya, whatever. Maybe that is going to lead me to my SP. We are working with ourselves. So whatever it is that we're drawn to do or not to do, not doing is also a form of action. <laughs> that will lead you to your SP. You just have to trust. And the last thing that I wanna say about taking inspired action is be open. So when your friend asks you to go to a club if your friend asks you to go on a walk if your friend asks you to do anything going outside just stepping outside in any way just say yes and be open to opportunities smile <laughs> like be open and receptive because even if you meet a new person like a new friend that's a girl and you're manifesting a man if you hit it off with that person and she might introduce you to someone. Her brother might be the love of your life. You don't know your mind is playing tricks on you and it's telling you that like you are stuck in this little bubble and it's hard for you to get what you want when in all actuality you just need to listen to me and my steps and then like open your mind and be like, huh, actually, I can literally get a new man's tomorrow. Literally tonight, like someone can DM me like right now, right? So just be open to any possibilities and don't be fully specifically set on one way that it could happen. Like I can only meet a guy on Hinge or I can only meet a guy in my school because I don't see guys anywhere else. You don't know. Even if you are following your intuition to join a soccer team, you can meet someone through there that knows Someone. Your soccer mate's boyfriend is watching and he brought his guy friend and you hit it off with them. Like, the point is, you don't know how it's gonna happen. Follow your intuition, be open to possibilities and opportunities. Know that that's gonna lead you to your SP. Step number five, let go and trust the process. You don't have to detach from your manifestation, but we don't want to be obsessing it over it nonstop in a negative way either. Once you've set your intention, done the emotional work, like setting your limiting beliefs and disproving them, taken inspired action, it's time to release your desire. Trust that it is coming to you because when you do that, you will release resistance, pulling that thing even closer and faster towards you in the easiest way. Manifestation is a powerful tool and when done right, it can bring you the love and connection that you've been dreaming of. Remember, follow these steps, you will manifest your SP out of thin air. I believe in you. And with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.